So just a quick update. <clears throat> this is my first or second day back in Chile now. It's been a week, well, a week in, two weeks in Argentina, a week in Salta, another week in Mendoza, which were both fantastic weeks. And, uh, you know, I had to work, but was still able to kind of get out and explore the town a little bit and obviously try out some wines. <laughs> so anyway, um, uh, in Chile, came cross into Chile yesterday. This morning I had my uh, tires changed and oil changed um, at GS Motos. So kind of good to go again. Bike's been running great, knock on wood. Um, and Chile is just, you know, Santiago was super clean town, uh, modern. Um, almost everything was seemed like closed yesterday, Sunday. Um, I just ended up eating at the hotel and um but yeah very impressive it's um you know reminded me a little bit of kind of a european type you know town <clears throat> not town it's a big city but it was like uh, clean you know i was just amazing <clears throat> and um downside of course is you know lane splitting and messing around with the motorcycle is frowned upon a little bit drivers are a little uh a little uh you know a little more tight wounds here seems like but overall, still good. Spent the day here riding south um, towards Bariloche. And since it was kind of going to be a 14, 15 hour ride, I kind of split it in two. So here I am close to Concepcion. And it's, this is outside. It's some kind of, I forget the name of the place. But it's these, you know, there's like 10 of these buildings. These are like container buildings that are just, you know, right on this little lake here. It's not the ocean. The ocean is kind of just beyond there but <clears throat> it's uh this is super cool got great reviews and it was like half off so it was just within my price range <laughs> um and they just had uh you know delivered dinner into the room um yeah so this place has been it's super quiet which is amazing i just been missing <laughs> a little bit of quiet here and there so um all you can hear are the birds <clears throat> and me talking right now, but that'll end quickly. Um, so yeah, Chile's been um, been nice. I mean, it's a little bit, reminds me of a little, kind of the Pacific Northwest. Um, kind of went through an area, had a, you know, must have had some um, forest fires here. So, um, but overall, lots of tolls. I think I rode through Santiago to Chile, and if I understood it correctly, you needed a, a transponder, and which I obviously didn't have, but the GPS routed me through there, so I just kind of went and <clears throat> no, didn't get stopped, so I'm not sure if I'm going to get something in the mail at some point or if they're going to say something at the border or what's going to happen or if nothing's going to happen. I'm not sure how. Um, or maybe it's... Uh, and motorcycles have to pay a toll, so I'm pretty sure I was supposed to pay a toll, but I'm not sure what's going to happen. We'll see. Hopefully nothing. So um, anyway, that's kind of an update from the road. It's March 20th, I think. And, um, you know, kind of coming into the last stretch of the trip, decided to uh, ride back up to uh, Buenos Aires after all and ship the bike back to Denver using the guys at um, the Car Motors uh, versus uh, Ronnie <clears throat> out of uh, Punta Arenas for a couple of reasons. One, it's going to give me the opportunity to get back into, not get back, but get into Uruguay. So I'll be uh, there for a few days towards the end of the trip after I drop off the bike. Um, gets, gives, gives me a chance to get to Buenos Aires, which is going to be cool. So I'll spend a few more days there. Uh, I won't have PTO anymore, so I'll be working, but still. And... Um, Let's see, what else? It's about $1,000 less to ship from Buenos Aires, so not that that's pure savings because, you know, you're going to have to drive back up, so there's gas, lodging, and obviously time, but it kind of <clears throat> lets me kind of drive that stretch too, so, you know, I kind of feel that's part of the Pan Am Highway, so I'm kind of excited about doing that part too. It's supposed to be 36 hours, um, so should be able to do it in three days. Um, got four days blocked out for it just in case I run into some issues uh, so if I run into minor issues I'll be fine if I run into major issues um, I won't so we'll see what happens but uh, that's the plan right now uh, so 
yeah i think that's pretty much it here's the lake one more time it's been like the birds are just amazing you know there were quails here earlier um swans down there um all kinds of birds soaring around um i forget the names but i love seeing these uh kind of the variety of birds and all you hear are birds bird sounds so love to hear that talk to you later